News, breaking news, everyday news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook, or Prince Miller Entertainment, Facebook group, or Prince Miller Entertainment TV. We're available on Twitter at P Miller ENT. Follow us on Twitter and follow back. Welcome to another edition of our daily news, breaking news, everyday news. Today is the 13th of April uh, 2022. And so, guys, here's the latest. Um, Bizo MP. Sotomen Chikwinya, Triple C, has challenged President Emerson Nangagwa to disband terror groups in Kwekwe, particularly Al Shabaab, which has largely committed numerous acts of violence in the Midland city over the years. Chikwinya claimed that the ZNPF linked terror groups commit political motivated violence with impunity and the police have no power to arrest their members. During the run up to the 26 March by elections, Bonelli Nube, a Triple C member, was stabbed to death during a rally in Bizo by suspected members of a ZNPF linked terror group. Chikunya said, uh, We have fought a brutal fight, a very unrepeated violent system occurred on the violent attacks of the Al Shabaab crew. It is well known and protected by senior ZNPF officials. Since 1999, we have documented a number of people who have been murdered and tortured. The murders continue with the latest one being that of um, Bonani Nube. The tortures continue with the individuals identified as perpetrators receiving impunity and even if they are partially arrested, they are quickly released from prison and came back to continue the atrocities. The police cannot do much as long as their hands remain tied like this and as long as these people get protection from these senior officials. Chikunya said as long as Mnangagwa is involved in politics in Kwekwe, the terror groups will continue to have impunity. He added, we know the guys involved and if you walk around Kwekwe and ask who the Ashaba people are, they will tell you. The Nube murder perpetrators are known and the witnesses are now being threatened. Now they can speak and they are trying to distort the whole story or by threatening witnesses. The next thing they will begin to blame Triple C to say it was a stage managed and perhaps uh, they will arrest people from Triple C and manufacture witnesses. We are not ruling that out. For it to come to an end, we have to remove the influence of Nangagwa and former State Security Minister Owen Nube from politics around Kwekwe and that will bring peace to Kwekwe. As long as these individuals are there, the perpetrators will continue to have a home where they can launch these attacks. We know suspected ZNPF activists who allegedly murdered Nube recently kidnapped his sister Judith Nube and threatened to kill her if she continued demanding answers into Bonani's murder. Bonani was stabbed twice with a spear at a Triple C rally held at Mbizo shopping center and died on admission to Kwekwe Central Hospital. So guys, that's the latest here. I do agree 100% with what the uh, Honorable MP uh, Chukwina is saying here regarding to the situation in Kwekwe. Yes, as long as uh, ED and Owen Nube are involved actually uh, in this whole uh, politics in Kwekwe, this will never end. Remember my group uh, and they are well-known people. But my police are because there are big people who are involved, which is ED is influence and Owen Nube's influence. So we need uh, to end this. And the material groups are having a lot of misquack to both some of us or very well yes because these guys they deserve to be in prison which could be and it so we don't need groups like this and i did them a group of that so even during the time a common right on it in quick way in midlands there but you can't do it ever and on it's a common ever and it's like with ed being the uh president now upon a actual battle and the battle the top Top uh, Asha Bab crew, Chai Chai, to Tivanto Zikano, and uh, so if these guys are not stopped, uh, next year 2023 it's gonna be a bloody election again, whereby Chawana and Rwanda are the victimized. Well, my opposition political parties are Shinako Kweke are the victimized. Well, like what happened last time, uh, you know, when Triple C had a rally there, Bonin Wibi was stabbed because of these guys, and the Sagawa and Octoti uh, want to Zikano, Munaranda Kweke, and no one wants to talk about it because. And we hope that the government will address this in parliament so that uh, 
you know kuna mbonde ni ngube tongo tizorora murugare and so guys this is a daily news breaking news everyday news on prince milan entertainment tv remember guys to like share comment and follow and turn on the notification bell so that you won't miss any of our new uploads that we do upload on the channel each and every day each and every hour remember to like share comment and follow this is a daily news breaking news everyday news bless up